This is the first flight of my Nano Talon after installing an Omnibus F4 flight controller and iNav. Not the best conditions to be testing something like this. It was windy as heck out there, but I just had to try it. This flight was done line of sight and then I reviewed the footage afterwards. Loving the OSD, although there is a bit of information overload at the moment. And as you can see, I need to move a few things around a bit. There is a bit of tuning to be done, but that can wait till a better day. I intend to try out the auto-tune feature built into iNav. I launched it in pass-through mode just to make sure everything was working okay. And then I switched to Horizon briefly, but it kept wanting to dive, so uh, I have some recalibration to do with the accelerometers. I might try it with the nose of the plane propped up a bit and see how that goes. The rest of the flight was done in acro mode, although you'll notice it displays air mode in the bottom left corner. The reason for that is that I have air mode permanently enabled so that when you're trying to glide with zero throttle you still have stabilization. As I said earlier, this was only a short flight due to it being so windy. I'll have to make some adjustments to get it flying nice and level in horizon mode and once the wind dies down around here a little bit I might be able to get out and actually do some FPV flying with it. Then I can start trying out some of the GPS modes. Return to home and failsafe being probably the two most important ones. I also believe I have to calibrate the current and voltage sensors. I started this flight with a not quite full battery and in general I have been getting around the 20 minutes flight times. In these conditions running 60 or 70 percent throttle most of the time the readings may be correct. I guess time will tell. After I've done a few tweaks and adjustments, the next flight hopefully should be an FPV one. That is, so long as the wind will let me. Bonus points for anyone who notices the massive error in the stats screen at the end of the video. Leave a comment in the usual place and I'll give a virtual cookie to whoever gets it right first. Well that's the end of the flight and pretty much the end of the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to see future progress. Thanks for watching.